Oh, yeah. Well, you won't be jumping anything bigger than a bedpan for a while, so consider yourself out of commission. Doctor's orders. Hey, Jess. Can I uh, have a minute? Yeah. Uh, Jake, I'll be back in a little while, so if you need anything, just buzz the nurse. All right, thanks, Jess. Thanks. Well, you don't look too bad for someone who fell out of the sky like a rock. Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little sore. Like I know what you're gonna say, Steve. About how stupid that was? Yeah, you'll get that lecture later. Right now, we got other problems. What do you mean? I just heard from forensics. They matched up the titanium filings in the teeth on your hacksaw to the uh, markings on Spleen's axle, which makes you the prime suspect in Spleen's murder. Oh, so now you do think I killed him? No, Jake, I don't. I never did. I was trying to tell you that when you rode off and almost killed yourself. But it's going to take more than my faith in you to clear you. Steve, my van is parked outside of Sheila's place all the time. Any one of the riders could have stolen my hacksaw and then put it back. And they all had a motive. They all hated that we were willing to ride for Kyle. Yeah, I know. I'll look into it. I'll also talk to Kyle. Maybe he can help. You just uh, stay put and take it easy. Let me work on this. You are lucky to be alive. You know that? Hope you learned your lesson. Yeah, I did. I need a longer approach. Next time I'll hit that ramp a good 10 miles an hour faster. You are sick, buddy. You know that? You are very sick. Hey, Steve. Thanks for helping me. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. You mean he didn't die of head trauma and a broken neck? No, he definitely did. Oh, Steve, good timing. You've got to hear this. What have you got? I don't know yet. Well, something interesting showed up in Spleen's talk screen. There were traces of methamphetamine in the system. Oh, looks like Spleen was addicted to more than one kind of speed. You think he was on speed when he made the jump? No, but there were indications that he was going through withdrawal at the time of his death. I'd say he had a very bad habit. And he decides to go cold turkey right before his big jump. That doesn't make sense. No, not if it was his choice. But you know, Going cold turkey from a really serious addiction like that can cause really bad physical and psychological effects. A spleen would have been crazy to do while he was writing. Have you ever seen his videos? The man was crazy. Well, if that crazy, I'm not so sure. You got a minute, Kyle? Hey, Steve, sir. Jake may be in trouble. We've turned up some evidence that implicates him in Spleen's murder. Jake? You don't think that he would? No, I don't. But I'm going to need some help to find out who else might have had a motive before they decide they've got enough to charge him. What have they got so far? Well, it looks like Jake's hacksaw was used to sabotage Spleen's bike. Jake says his van's always parked outside of Sheila's and anybody could have broken into it. That's true. All the riders hang out there. And you know how they all felt about Spleen. I guess I'm going to have to talk to all of them. Of course, then there's Sheila, too. Sheila? Why would she? I thought she and Spleen were lovers. They were. But you know Spleen, he also had a thing going with Casey. Well, that might give Sheila a motive, huh? Maybe. Might give you one, too. Hey, Casey and I are history. And if we weren't, why would I tell you any of this? Do you know Spleen was using drugs? That he was on speed? No, I didn't. I can't say it surprises me, though. I don't think it would surprise anyone that was around Spleen much. Of course, it might explain his thing with Casey, then. Oh, how so? Casey's a speed freak, too. I mean, she used to deal. She's been busted more than once. You gotta check that out. Oh, I'll do that. You know, Casey knew she couldn't compete with me as long as I had spleen. Maybe she did it to even things up. She really strike you as that ambitious? Hey, that's why I loved her. She was just like me. I don't see what I have to do with any of this. Well, as medical examiner, it's my responsibility to determine the cause of death. Now, in order to do that, I need more information. I still don't know why I'm here. I mean, it's not like I was on the bike with him or anything. But you both shared an addiction. <laughs> Who told you that, Sheila? No, I have a copy of your police record here. All right, so I was a user. But I'm clean now, okay? I quit. And since Spleen used my supply, he had to quit, too. He had no choice. So you cut him off? It was for his own good. But it really wouldn't hurt you either, would it? I mean, with Spleen going through withdrawal, he couldn't very well perform in Kyle's video, could he? That had nothing to do with it. 
So you're saying this is a coincidence that Spleen was suffering from the debilitating effects of a methamphetamine withdrawal, that on that very day he decided to perform the most dangerous stunt of his life? I'm not saying anything. Of course, you couldn't be sure going cold turkey would stop Spleen. Therefore, you possibly decided to sabotage his helmet and his butt. That's ridiculous. Look, Dr. Bentley, I cared about Spleen. I really did. And I wouldn't do anything to hurt him. Why don't you try talking to Sheila? Why Sheila? Because she found out about us. Because she found out that Spleen was helping himself to the till at the fifth gear to support his habit. Now, I'd say that's a reason. Sheila? Sheila, it's Steve Sloan. I need to talk to you. Sloan here. I need an ambulance right away at the fifth gear barn grill on Central. Right. smelling toilet in the neighborhood. Since I started using vanish hang-ins, the toilet bowls stay completely clean. The fact that it delivers bleach to the bowl is terrific. My scrubbing days are over. Real easy to use. Drop the tablet in the dispenser, hang it on the side of the tank. Boom, you're done. Vanish hang-ins deliver more bleach to your bowl than Clorox. There's no stain. No scrubbing. No rings. Like magic. Ta-da! Vanish hang-ins. More bleach to the bowl. If anybody doesn't believe me, ring my doorbell and you can smell my toilet. Dreaming Egg McMuffin, hot cakes and sausage too. Did somebody say McDonald's? I hope this dream comes true. Did somebody say McDonald's? People say I don't look my age. I say Revitalift. L'Oreal's new advanced Revitalift with double the pro-retinol A. It noticeably reduces the appearance of wrinkles and Revitalift increases skin's firmness. Now with double the pro-retinol A, L'Oreal Revitalift. Here's a new twist on heat styling. Now, all you do to shape those curls and hold those waves will actually make your hair healthier. It's all thanks to heat-activated Thermosilk Shape and Hold Spray. Thermosilk's unique protein formula is turned on by heat to do more than protect. It actually improves your hair's condition because nothing's more stylish than healthy hair. Thermosilk, where there's heat, there's healthy hair. Kate is on the march. Bonnie is fighting to stop it. Now she and her daughter are targets. Burning hate. 48 hours in 15 minutes.
he was a recluse with a disfiguring disease until an aspiring young artist I love you. set out to find the beauty in his heart. You will leave me. Beauty, CBS Sunday. Uh, I didn't get a look at him. He came up behind me and clobbered me just as I turned. Well, you better write in with the guys and get checked out. Could have a concussion. The way my luck's been running. Could have been worse. Do you know what he took? No. You have any idea what he might have been looking for in Spleen's things? Uh-uh. But if he thought he was going to find anything back there, the joke's on him. Why is that? Because anything you really valued, like drugs, he kept up there. The gas tank. Listen, Sheila, I'm going to have to ask you a few questions about Spleen. It may not be too pleasant for you, but uh, Jake Hallman could be in real trouble, and I need help. Well, then I'll help you. Did I know Spleen was doing Casey? Yes. He was using her for drugs. Did I know he was stealing from me to pay for those drugs? Yes, again. <laughs> but I loved him anyway. That was just him. I knew that from the start. I just forgave him. I don't know, it gets deep down somewhere. I knew Spleen wasn't going to be around very long. I took the good with the bad. So if you're wondering if I'm the one that killed him, the answer is no. I loved every minute with him. Thanks for your help, Sheila. You better get to the hospital. All right, guys, go ahead. Now, 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 that's a, a double fracture of a fibula right there. That's a femur, I'd say. There goes a collarbone. Boy, it doesn't take much for a collarbone. <gasps> oh, hyperextended knee. Oh. Mm. Separated shoulder. Dislocated, at least. What's this guy made out of Play-Doh? Like Jello at this point. Now you know why they call him Spleen. And this guy was walking around right up until the time he was killed? It's incredible, isn't it? Now, what amazes me, he never seemed to suffer any serious injuries from all those crashes. Just don't get it. Second. What is it, Mark? What do you see? Uh, I'm not quite sure. But it's in there. I know it is. Hi, guys. Look who just rose from the deck. Hey, Jake, how you feeling? Oh, better now that I'm out. You still want to take it easy for a while. That back's pretty unstable. You don't want to do permanent damage. Yeah, Jesse made that real clear before he agreed to release me. Take a look at this. Spleen had it hidden at Sheila's place. What, Mark? It's a contract between Kyle and Spleen. If you want to give Spleen 70% of everything he made on Down and Dirty 2. Well, I thought Spleen wasn't interested in contracts or money. Why would Kyle agree to a 70-30 split? Well, I sure don't think Kyle would have given Spleen 70% out of the goodness of his heart. Mm -mm. This contract proves that Spleen had something on Kyle. And it's right here. Radical Rim. I recognize the jump, so what am I really looking at? The killer. Only problem knows how to catch him. I think I know how. Jake, is your bike still in Steve's truck? Yeah, why? Good. Jesse, you can run a camcorder, can't you? Yeah, why? Then we are all set. Hi, Kyle. Have I got just a minute? Sloan. Hey, Jake. I was just uh, editing in some of that footage of your crash. It's going to be great. I'm sure it will be. You know, my editing equipment is as good as yours, but then I don't have your financial backing. Can we make this quick, Doc? I was so inspired when I was here the other day, Kyle, that I made 
video of my own. You did? Congratulations. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me some feedback on how good it is. Just take a minute, Kyle. Hey, you should check it out, Kyle. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Clever, Doc. You throw an evil Knievel and you got a winner there. I think they call it computer enhancement. You take two shots that don't belong together, put them together, you got a whole new shot. I know about computer enhancement, Doc. Well, of course you do. Truth is, yours is pretty rough. Doesn't look very realistic. Well, it'd be a lot better in the hands of a professional, you know, with top flight equipment. Somebody like you. Sorry, I'm all booked up. You know, Spleen should have got his nickname from organs he lost, but he didn't. The fact is, he was in pretty good shape. That's because those pictures that looked impossible were, Kyle. They were digitally enhanced. And Spleen found out, didn't he? That's why you gave him a 70-30 contract. This contract. Thanks, I have a copy. But this is what you were after when you broke into Sheila's. Hey, Spleen was a star. And he was worth every percentage point. And all the shots in those videos are, as my publicist would put it, bone-crunchingly real. You know, Kyle, I would believe you, except you made one little mistake. Now, these are some stills I made directly from your video. Now, this is Spleen going off Radical Rim. Now, if you notice that the sun is coming from the southwest, but the shadow on his helmet there, coming from the northeast. Not very realistic, Kyle. Where's Evil Knievel when you really need him? Yeah. My friend died trying to outdo some stunt you fake. Hell, you could have killed me too, you son of a... Well, I think, uh... Jake! Get go! I'm sorry to disappoint you, Jake. I don't do my own stunts. <laughs> what 
Okay, now where do you guys see this? Well, what are you guys watching? Oh, just the most radical video of the year. Shot it myself with the new spleen. Oh? Who's the new spleen? Yeah, you'll see. Now, is that the new spleen? Planning on selling this video or giving it away? Wow! What a rush! Dad? <laughs> Jake, what may be in this new extreme video? Extreme as in extremely slow or extremely dull? Listen, for me getting on that thing and starting the engine is an extreme sport. <laughs> but you guys haven't seen anything yet. Wait till Jake and I get this footage on the special effects computer, right, Jake? Yep. We're thinking about calling it Down and Dirty Dr. Darren. All right. <laughs> Created a monster. <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode.